When I started this channel, I said, David, don't talk too much about Salesforce. This industry is one of the best kept secrets of our generation. And if I want to keep making a nice salary, you know, I best keep my mouth shut. One thing I've learned about myself is I'm willing to do shameful things to get more YouTube subscribers. So here we are today. Picture this, you're sitting around minding your own business and boom, I pop out of nowhere and I'm bruised and I'm battered and I come to you with this dire message. The world as we know it ends in five years. A critical security bug is found in Microsoft Excel and the vast majority of the planet simply ignores the software update. Global computer systems crash, the economy crashes, and I, one of the last remaining survivors on the planet, have traveled back in time to give you this one task to save all of humanity. I need you to build the next generation of spreadsheets. I'm putting you on an island with 10,000 of the best engineers on the planet. You need to take Microsoft Excel, rebuild it from the ground up, and when I return in five years, we're gonna save the planet together. You know what you would have built at the end of those five years? You would have built Salesforce. Except you don't need to, because 20 years ago, I already traveled back in time to give that exact message to Mark Benioff and in 1999, he founded Salesforce.com. Today, Salesforce is one of the most dominant softwares on the planet, yet the vast majority of people have never heard of it. So what is Salesforce? Salesforce is the next generation of spreadsheets. All right, David, well, what's wrong with spreadsheets? I'm glad you asked. Let me show you. Here's the spreadsheet I'm using to track how much money I've wasted setting up this YouTube channel to get my 87 subscribers. Now, my wife gave me a very generous budget of $2,000 to buy whatever I needed for YouTube. But as of today, I've spent quite a bit more than that, and my wife has no idea about this. I really need to hide this price column from my wife. It's essential for my survival, but I can't. If I hide it or delete it from her, I gotta hide it from everyone else too. All right, I got another idea. Maybe I should let her see the price column, but I really don't want her to see some of my more expensive purchases. You know, I only spent 50 bucks on her birthday present this year. So if she sees that I spent $220 on a desk lamp, then we're gonna have a lot bigger problems than the world ending. Side note, this desk lamp is fantastic and I highly recommend it. And I'm gonna have a link to it in the description below. Anyway, back to business. I can't hide these purchases from my wife in the spreadsheet either, because if I do, then I can't see them. All right, all right, David, keep your cool, don't panic. What if I come clean with my wife? I'll tell her I've spent over $6,500 on gear for my YouTube channel, and I promise I won't spend another cent. In fact, I'll set up an alert on the spreadsheet where if I add another purchase to it, it'll automatically email you with all the details so you can stop me right away. Wait, 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 no, no, no. You can't really set up automated emails in Excel. Okay, I have a new idea, and this one's a good one. I'm gonna start a GoFundMe where people can donate to my YouTube channel I'll give everyone access to the spreadsheet so I can be completely transparent with how I'm spending their money. And I'll even let people update the spreadsheet and give me some suggestions on things to buy. Well, shoot, actually that won't work either. Spreadsheets just slow down and break when you have a lot of people using it. All right, well, I'm out of ideas. My wife's gonna kill me. It's been a fun ride, YouTube. And you know, for the record, I accept no fault or responsibility over this. Really, it's the spreadsheet's fault. It fundamentally does not have the features I need to hide my spending from my wife. But wait, what if I use Salesforce? Of course, it's the next generation of spreadsheets. I can't believe I didn't think of that, and I've been doing Salesforce for 10 years now. Okay, so here's my YouTube spending spreadsheet, now in Salesforce. This is what Salesforce looks like out of the box. Salesforce actually runs on the web in the cloud, so there's nothing to download. You just access it from your web browser. So Salesforce has tabs just like spreadsheets do. The rows and columns in these tabs are just like the rows and columns in my spreadsheet. You can also sort, filter, and search to your heart's content. But Salesforce takes things a step further by formalizing each row to be a record, a single connected unit, tying all the information of that row in one place. You know, this seems like such a simple thing, but fundamentally it's the difference between Salesforce and Excel. In Excel, you just have a bunch of random data thrown together on a grid. In Salesforce, things are very cleanly organized into records, and I can click on the record to drill down into it. And a record has structure. In the category field, I can only choose from pick list values. In the price column, I can only enter in numbers. 
You know, in Excel, you can enter whatever you want in any column and break your spreadsheet sideways, but not in Salesforce. Price has to be a number. And the beauty of this structure, since Salesforce knows price will always be a number, Salesforce can do some magic like automatically converting your prices from US dollars to euros or pesos or rupees, depending on who's looking at it. And the record has metadata too. There's a unique URL and ID for this record. I can see who created it and a full history of all its edits. This record is a living, breathing, evolving entity. Let's customize it. Let's add some new columns. Maybe I'll create a new pick list column to track my ratings for each of these purchases, or I'll make a formula to calculate my tax savings. I can even create relationships between records. This $400 lens that I bought is related to the $800 camera I bought. I can customize this all day without writing a single line of code. All right, that's great, but let's get back to what's important. How do I hide these purchases from my wife? Remember how I didn't want my wife to see any prices? Well, in Salesforce, I can simply hide the price column just from her profile. And remember how I didn't want my wife to see my $220 lamp? I can set criteria to only show inexpensive records to my wife. And how about that email I wanted to automatically send to my wife whenever I made a purchase? Well, Salesforce has a drag and drop tool that lets you automate anything you can dream of in a flowchart without writing a single line of code. Sending an email using this tool is a piece of cake. And scale, let's talk scale. I can have 20 records in Salesforce or 10 million. It's going to run just as fast either way. I can even open up my Salesforce to millions of people without writing a single line of code. In fact, you, one of my loyal 89 subscribers, and check out my Salesforce yourself by clicking on the link in the description below. This is some really powerful stuff, but we've just scratched the surface of Salesforce's power. Do you know why it's called Salesforce? Well, Salesforce took the core product and pre-built a bunch of functionality that every sales team needs. Unlike a spreadsheet, which is just a blank canvas, sales features like account management, sales forecasting, and email integration are included right out of the box in Salesforce. Any sales team can start using Salesforce today, right away. Heck, nowadays, it's hard to find a sales team that doesn't use Salesforce. It's by far the number one sales tool today. I don't even know who's in second place. Oh, did I mention Salesforce also did the same thing to the customer service industry? Email ticketing, phone support, live chat. You can run your entire support group on Salesforce right out of the box. And again, Salesforce is the most widely used tool in the world for customer service teams. Anytime you call a company for help, there's a high chance your call is powered by Salesforce. Now all of a sudden, your sales and support teams are running on the Salesforce platform. So your sales team knows when your customers are having issues and your support team knows when your customers are looking to buy something. All the data is integrated so you can have a complete view of all interactions between your company and your customers. But wait, there's more. Salesforce has also taken over the marketing industry. Your marketing teams can now use Salesforce out of the box to plan your events and your email campaigns. And since you're already using Salesforce for sales and support, how could you turn down using Salesforce for marketing? Having all that customer data in one place is just too good. Now your marketing teams can actually prove that their campaigns generated sales revenue or the more likely scenario that they actually contribute nothing to the company and they should all be axed. All right, so we've established that Salesforce is the most dominant tool in the world right now for sales, service, and marketing teams. And the combination of these three tools working together is absolutely overpowered. But we're still just scratching the surface of the power of Salesforce. How about Salesforce's reporting and dashboard tools? Build any dashboard you can dream of using a drag and drop builder. Your reports automatically respect the security rules you've set up. No code required. And what if you want to code? What if you want to customize something so deeply that the drag and drop flowchart automation tool just won't cut it? Well, Salesforce itself has no less than four proprietary programming languages built only for Salesforce. You have Apex, the backend code that's based on Java. SQL, Salesforce's version of SQL. Visual Force and Lightning, the front end UI frameworks. Oh, you want to integrate with Salesforce? Well, there are at least 10 APIs you can use more APIs than you would ever want, honestly. Let's keep going. Did you know that Mark Benioff, CEO of Salesforce, came up with the concept of an app store and gave it to Steve Jobs at Apple? True story. And Salesforce itself 
has an app store with over 5,000 apps for any use case you can think of. Every Salesforce org I've ever worked in has at least 10 apps installed. And somehow, even with such a big product already, Salesforce still keeps up with the trends. In 2010, Salesforce launched Chatter, its fully integrated social product. In 2013, Salesforce launched Salesforce One, their mobile app that automatically converts every feature of the product to mobile. And in 2016, Salesforce launched Einstein, its artificial intelligence tool to power and predict your data for you. And all these features run on Salesforce in the cloud. Three times a year, Salesforce automatically installs new versions and security updates so you don't have to. No more ignoring security updates and potentially ending the world. And that's the power of Salesforce. It can save the world. So the downside of Salesforce is it's quite expensive. It's subscription based and it's about a thousand bucks a user per year. And you'll need one user for each salesperson, support agent, marketer, and whatever other team you've brought on board. For a relatively small company of only 100 users, that's $100,000 each year in license costs alone. So let's say you're running a business and your friendly Salesforce account rep gives you a call tomorrow and says, Merry Christmas, they're doubling your license costs. And next Christmas, they're going to triple it. Realistically, you have no option other than to keep paying Salesforce. All your teams have been happily using Salesforce together. Your internal Salesforce development team has been customizing Salesforce for years, often with proprietary Salesforce-only programming languages. You've installed 10 different Salesforce apps, which only exist in the Salesforce ecosystem, and you've integrated all your internal tools with Salesforce using Salesforce-only APIs. Oh yeah, did I mention Salesforce has no real competitors? I've been doing nothing but Salesforce for the past 10 years, and I still don't know who's in second place. Even if I did, you can't just download Salesforce and install it on some competitor. You have to start over from scratch, and you can't afford to do that. So you're going to gladly bust out your wallet and continue paying Salesforce millions of dollars. I'm legitimately shocked that Salesforce doesn't aggressively increase their prices each year. But I hope they never hear that from me. So there you have it. That's Salesforce, and it's the best thing since sliced bread. Had I bought Salesforce stock when I first joined this industry 10 years ago, well, I wouldn't be here right now making crappy YouTube videos. I'd be snowboarding in Australia right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're curious about joining the Salesforce industry, check out the video that I link in the description below. And if you're going to go now and learn Salesforce and steal my job at Google, well, at least give me a like while doing so. Thank you, and to all you tech dreamers out there, Godspeed.